What's going on guys? I've got here a 2019 Dodge Charger and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of the two different fuse boxes. I'm also going to identify all of the different relays for you, which is something that is not shown in the owner's manual. So to start with, we're gonna open up the fuse box that's under the hood. We just lift up on this tab here and allow this to pivot upward. From here, we can see all the different fuses and relays. Now they are identified on some text on the back of the cover but I'll go ahead and point out to you what each relay does. So this is your run start relay. That's your automatic shutdown relay. There are three relays for the radiator fans. We have the high low, the medium high, and the series or parallel radiator fan relays. We have our start relay here, and we have two relays for the windshield wipers, the on off and the high low. Now let's move under the hood. This is where we can find some additional fuses and relays. Sorry, we're moving to the trunk. So we're gonna open this up here and you should have a cover over this, over your spare tire. So you lift that up. We can see the battery is here and we've got another fuse and relay box right here. So to open this one up, there's just a tab here that you push on and allow this to pivot upward. And again, there's numbers on the back, but nothing else is identified on this one. You'll need the owner's manual to identify the fuses and the relays are not shown, but I can go ahead and identify these relays for you. So we've got our run relay here. This is our rear window defog relay. This is the accessory delay relay. We have a relay for the transmission and finally our fuel pump relay is here. So yeah, I hope that this information is a good starting point for you in troubleshooting the electrical systems on your charger. I do have many other videos about this car showing systems such as the starting system to your cigarette lighters, your windshield wipers, things like that. So be sure to reference my other videos if you need additional help. Also comment down below if you have any advice or any questions. Thanks for watching.